So starting off with my hair freshly wrapped, if you want to see how I got to the stage, I'll leave the video in the cards. So I'm just going to prep my hair, like my real hair, ready for the wig. So I'm going to push my wig cap back and then I'm going to take my makeup off um, where the frontal is going to sit because I don't want there to be any um, dirt on that area as glue won't stick. So now I'm just siding, siding, sizing up the wig um, according to my head and seeing how it would look once it's glued on. I realised I had too much lace on this side so I did cut um, that side off. <clears throat> Sorry if my voice is really raspy guys. So I cut that side off and um, I measured it up again just to see how it would look and I still felt like I still had like excess lace. So um, I did cut a little bit more off like the near the front area. Just snip that off and then sized it up again to see how it would look and it was looking quite wavy so at this point i was like okay i think i'm ready to go i'm gonna get my foundation and i'm gonna basically place that on the lace just so it matches my actual skin a little bit better and then i'm gonna push my frontal back and get ready for application so i'm using the got to be blast and free spray i'm using this by itself and i'm putting that all over the front of my um head my forehead but i'm starting with the middle and then i'm gonna start applying the frontal and i'm using my um comb uh, instead of my fingers because my fingers have oils on them and it will get really really messy so i recommend using a comb or something like an applicator so um it doesn't get messy and my little trick for this is just kind of holding the frontal taut whilst like what's the word like melting it with the comb at the same time and because i don't want any baby hairs i'm just pulling all the away all the hairs that are like getting stuck onto um the glue and just pushing that back um so honestly it just it just takes patience so i've just done this side and then i'm going to move to the other side and once the other side is done we're going to start styling so i'm taking my babyliss curling wand i believe this is a one inch and then my moroccan argan oil by ogx this oil is amazing i use it for like all my hair textures i'm just going to place that all over the hair i'm going to use that kind of like as a heat protectant and then i'm going for kind of like a wavy look but to do that i'm just curling it up and i'm starting from the back working my way to the front so this is kind of curls that you get with this barrel if you want tighter curls you can get like a tighter like a smaller barrel because i wanted quite loose curls this medium barrel was really really good So I don't want it to be super curly, but I don't want it to be like limp either. I want it to have a really nice body. So the most important part, the front, but can we just look at that scalp? Like that scalp is amazing. So I'm going to get my barrel and I'm going to um, curl it away from my face because I want the layers to really, really pop. So I'm going to curl it away from my face hold it for a few seconds. If you want the curls to last a little bit longer, I recommend like pinning it. I wasn't going anywhere so i didn't really need to pin it and plus i didn't really want really really tight curls like i said i just wanted something really really loose so i'm not pinning it but um the key is to basically get the barrel on the root of the hair so start with the root and then pull it up so all the hair all the heat is distributed through all the strands of the hair hold it for a few seconds and let it go that one came out a bit floppy so i'm gonna do that <laughs> do that again so curl so the, all the hair is like distributed, all the heat is distributed and then let it go. So I'm going to do that um, to the rest of the hair. I'm going to show you guys one more time. That scalp though. Well lace, well lace, well lace wear. Okay, <laughs> so I'm going to do that on this side as well. So hold it up, make sure that heat is getting through the hair. Hold it for a few seconds and let it go. Now, after I've done this, I'm going to flip the hair over and this is where you get the most volume. So you're going to find that the hair is just looking very scrumptious, just wow. Like, look at that movement. So um, it was a little bit too big in the front. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my oil again. 
um like i said this oil is not oily you're gonna think like what the hell that's a lot of oil on the head but it's not greasy it really does soak into the hair but obviously don't whack on like the whole bottle on your head just be careful but it really does soak into the hair then i'm gonna get my barrel and i'm gonna use that to flatten out the front just a little bit and as you can see the oil was like disappeared because the barrel literally soaks everything in the hair soaks everything in sorry um so yeah once that's done the hair's looking a little bit more like how i want it so so shiny the luster is beautiful the movement is amazing like no stiff be like stiff wear no stiff <laughs> the movement is amazing i love this hair the texture is a brazilian texture but i'll get onto the specs in a second so this is me excessively touching my hair because i'm obsessed okay so this is what the layers look like after oh no 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 girl okay yeah okay <laughs> basically in this bit i'm fixing um you know when the lace starts to lift a little bit just get it on the end of your tooth comb and place it on top of the lace i'm well, not on top of it underneath the lace and just work it in don't put your fingers on it it's gonna get really messy use the comb and yeah that's how you fix those little annoying bits anywho i think i'm basically excessively touching my hair here because i'm just looking how it looks and expecting and expecting inspecting the thing and it looks great like the layers are popping i'm in love like girl oh my god like oh my god <laughs> it looks so good okay so you're probably wondering are you gonna fix the makeup or now so i'm just getting my contour powder this is the fenty espresso matchstick and i'm basically going to place that on my forehead try not to get the makeup on your lace because it can be disastrous don't get it on your lace get it just on your forehead and yeah all the demarcations should reduce i mean it's not going to completely disappear i mean it is a fake scalp but it will look a little bit more realistic once you fix that okay i'm gonna fix my face makeup as well quickly okay so now onto the specs of the hair this hair is by west kiss hair it's an aliexpress brand yes um the hair is amazing i got 18 inches of body wave texture in three bundles and a matching frontal which is also 18 inches so the pros of this hair lovely luster the hair is soft is movable it doesn't tangle shedding is very very minimal obviously it does shed but not too much the only thing i would say is that i wish the lace could have been a little bit thinner and what i mean by that is i just wish it was thinner so it melted more into my head so this is the lace up front and close and personal um as you can see you can see the line but if it was a little bit thinner it won't be as um detectable so that's the only con i had with this hair but other than that this was sweet like this hair is amazing i would definitely recommend it it just looks so good so shiny if you're going for something really really glam this is your hair girl like yeah and because it's um, a body wave texture it does hold a curl really well as well so yeah that's me done thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you soon in my no another video bye <laughs>